and Chevelle. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a one month update because it has been exactly one month since I have moved out of my parents' house, living on my own, paying my own bills and all that good stuff. We're going to talk about the stages I went through since I moved out. Okay, so... It, the, I want to say, like, okay, you know, we, I moved out on the 8th, and the other thing moved in. Um, that night, you know, it didn't really hit me at all, you know, that night, that same night. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> it didn't hit me until, like, that Sunday, like, when we woke up. And we were in our place by ourselves, and it was just like, because I'm so used to, like, hearing my dad in the kitchen cooking breakfast and, you know, and stuff like that. And it was just weird to me to, like, be in my own space, you know, just me and Ivory for the first time. And I'm not going to hold you. I believe, like, the, the first two weeks, I was depressed, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Like, I was, like, very down depressed homesick because i was so used to you know being in my mom's presence 24 7 365 <laughs> like i've been glued to my parents hip for the past dang near 23 years and me taking this giant step of moving out and then being on my own and not having not waking up and seeing them every day and not going and sitting in my mom's room randomly on the floor and just bothering her, you know. So it was just a big adjustment mentally. Like mentally it was like it's like I knew I was moving but then when I got like that woke up that Sunday morning it was just like okay now what <laughs> do I go sit in there it was like, I was like, I wouldn't say depressed, depressed, but I was depressed enough to like be sad and, you know, I cried one, one night because I just, I miss my mom, okay? Everybody who know, know me and Renetta Singleton are like this, so I just missed her, miss being around her like all the time and just... Being, it's, hearing her voice like yes she'll yes we'll call each other but it's the difference between hearing her voice on the phone and asking her what she's doing and versus me being in my used to be in my room just get up go see what she's doing seeing her when i pass pass her room to go to the kitchen to go to the restroom excuse me and stuff like that so it was just very weird you know i know some people say when they move out it's the bill aspect. It's not that. It wasn't that ever. Like, it was just the whole not seeing my mom 24-7 and being in her presence. But after that, so those two weeks, I got over it. It was over and done and stuff like that. And so then it came the adjustment of, I cooked when I was living with my mom and dad. But I didn't have to worry about cooking every day because, you know, mom and dad would cook every, switch off, basically. Uh, cooking like that. And now it's, now it's like, again, boom, get hit with the weight up. Oh, now you're actually responsible for the meals that come in this house. You're responsible for the cooking that goes on in here for real. And it was just like, oh, my God. Then I, I don't like eating the same thing consistently. And I'm trying to pick up new things, new uh, like culinary aspects, like trying different cultured foods and stuff like that. I'm blessed to have friends who are, you know, I have a um, uh, a friend. She's Haitian, and she's gonna teach us some meals to cook. So <laughs> because you know, it's always like you know, you get tired of eating the same thing. American food is trash. <laughs> Let's start there, but that's not what this is about, <laughs> anyways. Um, then the third thing was 
cleaning. Like, I clean up. I cleaned up when I was living with my mom and, you know, took care of that business like that. And then it's just like, now you're really responsible for the cleaning. Um, Y'all know I don't have a washer and dryer, so I have to wash at my mom's house. And, like, you know, sometimes that can be draining because it's like, I do have a downstairs apartment, but still having to lug those baskets and stuff like that. I try to accept, you know, make certain wash days, like wash my towels on a certain days and then wash me and Irish clothes on a certain day just so, so it doesn't feel like, okay, this dedicated wash day to everything. Because if you think about it, if you have to sit there and wash everything in one day, or you going to realistically fold your clothes in that same day. Even if you take a pre-workout and stuff like that before that, are you going to realistically fold your clothes in the same day? Now, towels is a different thing. Because they ain't hard to fold. But clothes, is like you fold them and you got to put them up. You got to put the towels up too. But the, like I said, the towels is a different aspect. <sighs> but that first month, like, was just a huge adjustment because you know like i was used to being by myself like in the house but you know mom and dad will like randomly come home and then it's not by myself anymore but now it's like when i come to my house i'm really by myself even like even with ivory going at daycare or she's with her dad it's just like i'm really by myself i can take a nap and i have to be worried about me walking up, I can play my music. I, I, I play my music at the house, but y'all get what I'm saying. Like, that type of stuff. And I hate just being, it's a new form of independence that's kind of strange. Because, you know, again, I'm so used to, you know, living with mom and dad. It's like, there was just a big adjustment to click like, oh, okay, you don't live there anymore. This is your house, you know your foundational piece your space and like i'm still finding pieces to make this my space and make this more me if in a sense i haven't hung up my tapestry yet because i'm trying to figure out i, I was gonna hang it up in my room but i opted out in doing that because i'm trying to create a little corner little nook in my room for me you know to sit in Cause like, like for the times where I don't want to sit in the living room, I want to sit in my room Ooh. and I don't want to sit on my bed. So yeah, I'm working on things like that. And I'm doing piece by piece. I'm, I'm doing, I'm working it on room by room right now. My focus is, I put air quotes on my focus because like sometimes I'll jump from my room to the living room. Right now my focus is the living room. It's still has some pieces that need to come together in it i'm still looking for a couple art pieces you know that fits <coughs> that fits me you know my aesthetic and makes me feel at peace when i enter this living room like i have a couple elephants around the living room i know i want to get a, a lion piece i know it's kind of strange because i'm a cancer but i have a leo in my chart <laughs> but um you know, elephants, you know, there's a form of serenity and peace and it brings good luck. So that, and I just love how elephants operate and how, like, how they look. And a lion, I know lions are definitive as strength, but it's also protective energy as well. So I might get a lion or a tiger. I can't really decide because both of them are the protective energies. Oh, my bad, I got an email. But, yeah. Um, and I'm working on my little dining area. I'm not showing y'all this because I need to get a cloth. I haven't gotten a cloth yet. I know I can get it from Dollar Tree, but excuse me, I haven't been to Dollar Tree lately. Excuse me, it should be a call a dollar twenty five store now, but I haven't been there recently. But I've been just you know taking it in, you know. <laughs> I do have my playstation hook up so i do watch my movies and stuff like that and i'm a, i feel like i'm more adjusted now in my space and stuff like that i'm still trying to find new recipes to cook so we don't feel like we're eating the same thing repetitively because if i start feeling like i'm eating the same thing repetitively i will not cook for me 
The reason I'm emphasizing, emphasizing me is because I'm going to always fix Iris something, period. Like, sis going to always eat before I eat. So, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. But it has been awesome, you know, <sighs> living on my own. Oh, forgot to mention. I, we did spend a night at my mom's house one, one Saturday because I had worked 11 to 11 and I was too exhausted to drive home. So, we spent the night there. And it was weird waking up there because it's like I wasn't in my bed and I wanted to be in my bed and stuff and be in my space. So that's how I knew like, okay, we have gotten used to being on our own. So um but yeah, that's pretty much it for the update. Short and sweet, you know. I didn't want to drag it out with a whole bunch of other things i do have another video out that's gonna be coming out for y'all soon but make sure y'all like comment and subscribe share the video subscribe <laughs> but i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one i love y'all and i hope y'all having a wonderful day evening night whenever you're watching this and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one Oh, 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 oh.